and here's your host, Les Thompson. Well, welcome to Autumn in Europe. Yes, this is the autumn edition of the program, and we're going to be looking at the colours outside. It's a bit cooler, that's why I've retreated inside. But uh, with my friend Mario, we're going to go around the Czech Republic and into Austria looking at the beautiful colours there are to be seen. You may call it fall where you live, uh, in England and Australia, we normally call it autumn. But whatever you call it, take a look at what there is to see. Lednica, the Garden of Europe. In all of Europe, this is my favourite castle, Chesky Krumlov. It dates back to the early 13th century, and the village, which sits so elegantly on the, the banks of the Viltavar River down below, is also UNESCO listed, and it dates from 1274. And if you take a look from the ramparts here on the castle, you'll see what I mean. It is just so picturesque.
So that's autumn in Europe. Isn't it beautiful? And next we're going to have a look at autumn in Australia. Now it doesn't look all that much different in some places. Now during summer what we do is we go to the beach, but in autumn we tend to travel around inland. We're going to do that next. But before that, take a look at the Journos Journal. And in this program, we're going to take a look at what appears to be a trend that the hotels in Germany and Austria are setting. It's a bit strange, I guess, to some people. It's having windows in a bathroom, which is really part of your hotel room. In other words, within the bedroom, there's a bathroom, almost because you can see through into the bathroom through various windows. Here's what I mean. Take a look at this hotel, the Seaside Park Hotel in Leipzig. Imagine if it was a twin room and maybe you're sharing with a stranger. Wow. Um, and this is not the only hotel. Well, looking into the bathroom and viewing it from the actual bedroom area, um, we've struck a couple of times in Germany now, but in Austria, this is really something. It's uh, at the beautiful town called Krems. And Krems is wonderful, a lovely medieval feel to it, right on the Danube and uh, just uh, near the Wachau Valley. Very picturesque. But in this particular hotel, the Hotel Unter den Linden, under the lime tree, uh, there is, inside, not just a bathroom with windows, but it's like a little Hansel and Gretel house. Look at this. Little house. Yes, it's got windows and... Well, go inside and see if I can see anything. Okay. And don't look, don't watch, okay? No, no, no. an interesting little window in the corner here. Oh, you can see inside. Uh -huh. And then there's the main door which is shut, so it's private. And oh, what a third one. Oh, that's very handy. You can see right into the bathroom, that's good. Into the bath. Well, that's what I've observed on the Journos Journal for this program. And uh, you make up your own mind whether you like it or not. We did ask, actually, in Krem, so, you know, is this really one of those places that you just put married couples in because you think it's going to work wonderfully? And they said, well, no one's complained yet. Wow. Wow. Wow.